Welcome to the Kickback for Dynamite Grand Slam, where we give special treatment to the best comments from our AEW Fan Hub live chats. And just before the start of the show, we saw this comment. I'm on the edge of my seat, working hard so my references are Monet tonight. Well, a lot of us were hoping for a couple of debuts tonight, but spoiler alert, it didn't happen. We opened Dynamite Grand Slam with the title versus title match between Claudio Castagnoli and Eddie Kingston. Damn, they're starting off with the immediate piss break match? Light the fuse, break the seal? Well, someone doesn't like Eddie Kingston. Or maybe they really just had to use the bathroom really bad. Go, Claudio. Beat the tar off, Eddie. Where does Eddie have tar? To be fair here, it's very hard to tell. Eddie did come to the ring dressed all in black. All he'd have to do is do some running around. Eddie wouldn't be able to catch up. He might have a heart attack. This is a disturbingly well-conceived strategy. But they need to retire the machine gun chops. They always look weak. Fair point. And they also don't sound very awesome either. Next we see Roderick Strong lying somewhere in a hospital bed surrounded by his friends. Oh god, Roddy. This story is hilarious. Guys, the man is literally on his deathbed. Show some compassion. I know that heart monitor is fake. That really cute medical attendant didn't make his heart race at all. Yes, <laughs> she is rather cute. If there was an award for taking dog shit and spinning it into gold, Roderick Strong should win it for 2023. Again, this man is literally on his deathbed. What is it with you people? And now for the match between Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara. Is this the end of the JAS? Or is it a new beginning? Maybe it's back to the middle. I thought Jericho was singing. That is one big t-shirt. Absolutely riveting analysis right there. Tay Mello gets into the ring. Her water breaks. Jericho slips in the amniotic fluid. Sammy gets the pin. This is why I should never book wrestling. Frankly speaking, this is why you shouldn't do half of the things you do. Is Shivani stroking? He'd said, a veteran coming through like 20 times. Well, to be fair, Shivani did say that he was in junior high school in the 20s, so that's, let's see here, carry to two. I need Scott Steiner. I'm so tired of Don Callis and his stupid group. Well, that's a plot twist I didn't see coming. Don't worry, guys. When Sammy gets home, Tay Mello is certainly going to put him in his place. Moving on to the International Championship match between John Moxley and Ray Phoenix. He just put something in Moxley's hand. Is Mox concussed? He's moving like he's legit concussed. Maybe why Ray checked Moxley's hand when I thought he put something in it? I think Mox is hurt. He is legit concussed. Mox finally getting that vacation. I don't think it's the one he wanted. Needless to say, congratulations to Ray Phoenix on a great win. Our thoughts, of course, are with John Moxley. Get well soon. Chins up and tits out. It's time for the AEW Women's World Championship match. Oh, and watch for the shoe. Tony Storm with the fall season of just being the bitchiest, vainest, crazy world champion would be a great shot of dynamite for this division. No pun intended. Imagine you get outcasted by people who are called the outcasts. I want to hug Tony. How can you not love this screen-chewing nut job? I told you this was going to be a shoe match. Why is it that Tony Storm can somehow find a pair of fishnets that won't rip, but Soraya can't? 
the lip lock heard around the world. And now just a couple of comments for the main event between Samoa Joe and MJF for the AEW World Championship. Our scumbag. I think Cole legit sprained an ankle running down the ramp. And that's the kickback for Dynamite Grand Slam. Please hit the like button on this video, it helps us out massively. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow AEW Fan Hub on Reddit and Discord. See you on the Monday after Collision for the next episode of Kickback.